Hey babes! Okay, it's my last day in Paris and of course it is blessing me with this beautiful, beautiful weather. And I'm on a mission on my last day in Paris to find the Louvre. As you know, I was on a mission to find the Louvre earlier in the week and it didn't work. Didn't even set sight on them little pyramids. <laughs> so today, I have a different game plan. And I believe that now I found a route that is going to take me to the station, which is right outside the Louvre, so I can't walk and mess it up. Y'all, I finally made it. I'm so happy, so proud of myself. I finally made it. I don't know. I think this is the Louvre. Oh, it's so beautiful. And it's so exciting when I go to parts of Paris that like, I haven't seen. Although, obviously, kind of scary because it's like, okay, I don't have that prior knowledge. But it's also nice to see things new on my last day. So, I believe the building right behind me is the Louvre. But yeah, I want to get to the little pyramid thingy, my bobbers. Oh my God, I love this. There's more people. Um, Skating, roller skating, waiting, whatever. And they have the cone set up. If you remember a couple days ago, wait, don't. I'm looking at this cafe right here. And unless there's a bunch of these kind of cafes in the area. No, it's the same one. Bro, I was here last time. This is actually the same place where the guy was skating before and somehow I didn't realize that the Louvre was right there and that means that, oh, are you kidding me? It is getting dark because it's now about 8.35, maybe 8.40. Yeah, this cute little building behind me. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the vibes. This dude is skating over here, like, just like, people doing their own thing over here. And I didn't realize that this was where I needed to go to see the Louvre. Are you joking? <laughs> what? I literally walked right by it and I thought it was a failed mission, but it was really just hindsight's 2020. <laughs> It's always easier to tell you lies Let the truth be your surprise You see me as Mr. Right What of advice, change your mind Cause you're blind Might as well close your eyes If you open In other words, I'm here! Oh my gosh! Challenge or mission complete! I am now at the Louvre! my precious pyramids oh my gosh i don't know why i'm like so happy this is like one of the big bucket place places i wanted to see and i'm so glad that on my final day i've been able to be here so good so many people it's good vibes it's warm it's sunny it's everything not gonna believe creative privilege is a real thing okay so i thought it was free to like just i thought there was a way you could like go in there for free and just to like take a picture of like right here but it wasn't right because it was like an entryway and so i walked in and then the person was like talking to me and then i was like oh like go there it's like oh she's gonna use the found photo and then he was like about to repeat the price again but then he looked at me and then he was like oh basically he said because you're a pretty girl i'm gonna let you in and something like that so then he like opened the little curtain from opened the rope and so i walked in and so i was taking photos i was trying not to take long whatever and so i was like taking the photos and um taking videos and stuff like that of like the little exhibit piece so i got to see a little bit of the louvre inside and then I was like looking for him to leave because I was like, I didn't want him to think I was trying to like actually finesse my way into the museum. And now I'm thinking like, could I finesse my way into the actual museum? 
I don't know. Because <laughs> when I was asking him to like, let me out, it seemed like I could have stayed. And then he like gave me this paper, and I was so confused. And so I like he drew me. That's what I was showing. I think this is supposed to be me. And I'm like, how? That's why I was so confused. Because I'm like, that was so quick. I was not there for more than five minutes. And so he was like, I filmed some of it, the interaction. But yeah, he drew this. And so I guess this is me looking over my shoulder. It's always easier to tell you lies. Let the truth be your surprise. You see me as Mr. Right. There's a man playing the accordion and I just love it. I love the vibes. It is so dusty here though, like the ground. So like it's a little hazy. But basically, um yeah, I'm taking some pictures and then I'm gonna move on. But yeah, standing here I can see the Arc de Triomphe way over there. And then there's something in the middle, but that's definitely not that top. Of the <laughs> Don't even, oh god, I don't know if we can even, like the dust is real, y'all. Okay, there's the Eiffel Tower. I knew it wasn't, but I just had to point it out to make myself seem like a loser. So, there's the Eiffel Tower, and then way, way, way yonder down street is the Arc de Triomphe. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what I mean. So now you guys see what I mean. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to walk towards the Arc de Triomphe. I don't want to walk towards the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to just keep walking straight and see what happens. But yeah. <laughs> Cam goes out to that lady right there. She stopped me while I was taking selfies and offered to take a picture. And I feel like that's, I guess, like the cue when you're just in front of a monument and taking selfies. People are like, hey. <laughs> come up to you because I haven't even been asking people as much as like people have been offering and so I really really appreciate that who says that um what is it chivalry is dead who says that being nice is dead thank you so much lady thank you Guys, literally, literally, this is one of the places when I was first making my like short bucket list for things I wanted to see in France and I was looking at like okay things you can do that are free and one is you know walking outside the Louvre and then they said that there's a garden right next to the Louvre that has a bunch of like statues and structures and things like that and that's the garden of in my head I call it Tuileries even though that's definitely not how you say it in French but I just found it really funny to say Tuileries pretty sure it's I don't know but that's basically where I am right now and I didn't even like realize it but Le Jardin de Tuileries Maybe. <laughs> but yes, it is, so it has like these amazing little waterfalls. Okay, not waterfalls, water fountains. And like all these different sculptures and all this different like maize grass and like a bunch of seats and people are just calming. And definitely the next time I come, I want to come with like a little picnic type thing and just chill out and enjoy it because right now it is about 5.40. So about 20 minutes to get myself to a metro station. But I'm definitely, definitely enjoying it so beautiful so calming and it's crazy how i wanted to come here all along and i ended up here kind of randomly and i just want to say that for my last day in paris like this oh i'm so amazed 10 out of 10 like it's so beautiful you have to come here for sure Thank you. 
Okay, I'm leaving the garden now until next time. Honestly, ask me where I'm going <laughs> because I don't know. And it's 5.52, so I need to get um, adjacent to a metro. But look at the lighting. Burr. But yes, I don't even know. I'm just kind of walking in this direction and enjoying the scenery. But I also know that, like, I really can't be late to this meeting. And the metro is always unpredictable, and I want to be able to give myself grace time, which is why I gave myself one hour. And I should not overstep that boundary. It's not worth it. The stress is not worth it. And I will be back in Paris before 2022, manifesting that stamp. Stamped it right there. I'm so happy and grateful now that I will be back in Paris, France before December 31st, 2022. Amen. Stamped. <laughs> Okay, so the adult part of me is saying a male and turn it back around and go to the metro because I'm like, I don't know where the nearest metro to around here is. So I'm like, okay, turn around, go to where you came, enter the metro now. And then the other part of me is like, okay, but I'm so close to the opening of seeing whatever all this is that I might as well keep walking, right? What do you guys think I should do? Turn back around ASAP or give myself five more minutes to see whatever is at the end of this walkway ding, ding, ding. thank you so much for saying keep on walking because that is exactly what i was going to do oh it is so beautiful it's giving me washington dc vibes like it's, it's giving the little thing in dc a little little thing i don't exactly know what it's called but Lincoln memorial might not be anyways <laughs> it's giving me like it's giving me the vibes of that so i'm gonna take some pictures i'm not gonna be here for long but it is beautiful i'm about to show you guys in a second okay we are saying goodbye it is about 601 now i'm going to start my walk back the way i came just because i don't want to start going out onto the street because i can exit like there but it's like i don't know what's awaiting me over there and i was like i don't need to get out get lost confused not sure where the metro is so, so i am going to quick walk back the way i came and we're gonna cross our fingers and cross our toes that we get back in time i'll update you guys later funniest thing i just had to stop the man really like he had the music he, during the crosswalk period sets up this thing and he's doing his little his little act like only in paris like people are so crazy but like in the best way and like artistic creative like that was so oh that definitely gave me a laugh but and other updates i also definitely have shin splints child because i'm not because Y'all didn't see, but I was running to get from point A to point B. Point B is where I am now. Point A is when I told y'all I was walking back. And I decided to not go through the Louvre area, but to go on the street. Cute street. Because I felt like that would be quicker. And then right there on the metro and stuff like that. But yeah.
Okay, babes, I didn't want to leave you with climax. I'm at my gate. It's 6.57. I'll catch up with you guys when I'm doing some of the packing or maybe I'll end the video. I'm not sure if I'm going to include the packing in this vlog or not. But yeah, thank you guys for cheering me on. Or at least I hope you guys are cheering me on. If you weren't, your mom's a boop. When it been a few hours, when it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months When it gone for a year, only more like once Life moves fast when you do what you want Like this time, don't